Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. Exactly. Our success is the future of this country. If it is food, we have enough to eat for ourselves and our children. Even this management of our family, we can do it for ourselves without seeing you. But we all say we must get together to rescue this country. Yes. So that the future of your children, my own grandchildren, and yours, we have a country they can be proud of. Our opposition, as we are asking them to go and vote, I have one secret for you. Let me ask the, let me, let me ask the question. If you know you can win, Will you fight and disrupt the vote? No, 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 no. Eh? No, 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 no. When you know no you are sure to win, no way. Will you fight and disrupt the vote? No, no way. No, no, no. The opposition. Mm. Your job is not to stay and make sure that they fight a lot, that they vote a lot. Your job is to protect that vote, to make sure that anybody wants to fight, you don't allow them to fight, because you know you are winning. You have everything to lose. Any vote they disrupt is your vote. Any vote they cancel may be your vote. So, the job is not one, getting people to vote, but getting people to protect that vote. Now, listen to me. So, guys, uh, one thing I have come to come in terms with is um, not to underestimate anybody or not to underestimate anything. Anything can happen, most especially when it is concerned, you know, when it has something to do with Nigerian politicians, you should not underestimate them. That is just one thing. Because you might be thinking, you know, we want direction direction because maybe you have a focus, because you have a you don't have any skeleton in your cupboard or you do you're not fighting for anything, you are not arguing about anything, or you are not just in that line. But somebody who is looking for something will go to extra mind. The person will go to extra length to do whatever he can do to get what he wants to do but if you are not really in that line maybe you are not looking for anything of course you will just be your mind will just be straight and you just you know focus what you are really looking at but somebody who wants to get something by all means mostly all these are our politicians they can do and undo and that has been playing out all this while that's why the majority of people always say oh our votes don't count oh they don't even care about you they know how to manipulate things they even uh, i can still tell you categorically that our vote counts but they add other things to, you know, that they work on, they work on the vote to be able to get other things done. They always add other things to make sure that they get the victory they want at the end of the day. They can do all manner of things. So to an extent, the votes count, but they still had other things because if the vote does not count, they wouldn't even be bothered in the first place to come and be campaigning, to be telling you this and this and this and that. And that is the reason why concerning this uh, Tinubu's video, what he was talking about, that's why a lot of people know him as the Jagaban of uh, Africa. They call him a professor of uh, of politics because they know how to get people because a lot of people are there. If you think you are strong that, oh, you cannot give in for anything. There are millions of people who are there that will give in for anything. They can take anything just to vote for anybody, just to support anybody. So you can only speak for yourself. Even yourself, at times, you might even change your mind. Some things, some situation will surround you. Some things will happen that you just like, ah, so boy, it's like, I, like I said, I go change my mind, though, you know. 
all this uh, strictness or whatever, you know, who will help? Unless you are just, you know, you are really determined that no matter what, because all of those things, uh, even if you give in, all of those things will not even last because you still come back and re be regretting if you are that kind of person. But a lot of people will say at some point in time, they will still, they will, they will, they will give in. So if you think that, oh, some things or some people cannot support anybody, you just erase, you just have to erase that from your mind. So these guys, they can go any length to do whatever they want to do. Like I said, a lot of people believe that Tinubu is the professor of politics and they, he knows how to go about the, the whole thing. Even everybody is coming out, this and this and that. Oh, he cannot do this. He cannot be the president. He cannot do that. They know they might have what they are, you know, they, they have as, as backup. Just like a lot of people were like, oh, Buhari cannot win for the second time. Just like a... The Wale Shoyinka said as well that he, ordinarily, if you look at things on ground, nobody would have thought that Burari could win second, second, uh, you know, in his second uh, uh, term. Because when you look at everything on ground, holistically, you yourself as a person, you know that there is no way that people who are suffering, it's not a matter of maybe people trying to make it up. You as a person, you know what you are going through. You can just be the, uh, encouraging yourself. Okay, I'm going to, maybe things will get better. But for how long will things get better? With the first tenor of the person, you should have known where, how the second tenor, you know, will go or will look like. But a lot of people are like, how come he now won for the second time? You know, those are the tricks and magic of politicians. So that being said. So people who are always, oh, Tinubu cannot be this, cannot be that. Don't be surprised anything can happen. You know, a lot of people have been saying a manner of things. This issue uh, of a bullion van or no bullion van. You know, they are just laughing, they are just laughing at us that these guys, they don't know anything. Let them be talking. That is what they can do. They can just talk and talk and talk. Nothing, nothing will happen at the end of the day that Nigerians, you know, they are used to all of this kind of a thing. You know, people throwing jabs at them, you know, unleashing a lot of comments, statements, you know, unpalatable ones, unpleasant ones, ones at that. They don't, they are not perturbed. They are not, they don't care. So you can say all manner of things. You will still see large numbers of people that will still come for them oh you are the best oh you are this and that like i said if you think that you are strong will some people can change their mind at any time so these politicians those are the things that they categorize on those are the things that they look into those are the uh yasik they use in you know getting what they want you could see from you know that particular video was not even talking about even maybe his own but for him to be advising people on how to do it then you should know what he's going to you know, the strategies he has for himself, even if he wants to contest for this 2023 uh, presidency or he wants to contest for an election, he knows how to go about it. He knows how to do it otherwise. Unless maybe if something has happened, if not, humanly speaking, with the way they do things, the way they, they go about a lot of things, a lot of secret meetings, a lot of night mid, night, uh, midnight uh, meetings, they, do you, are you always there? Do you know what they plan? Of course, little, little, once secret can be revealed, but the the in depth secret, in depth uh, uh, strategy, you might not be able to get it. And at the end of the day, people just be shouting, "Oh, wow, this wow!" They've already gotten what they want. The only thing you can do is to shout. But the only thing that can you can do as a people, if you know that you don't like what is happening, is for us to come together to say, "No, this is what we want." We always will continue to refer to be referring to uh, Showore's case. Shawara is still there. Everybody's like, what is my business? He got what he, uh, he, he, he you know, he, he deserves what he got. What is my business? He, he's looking for cheap popularity. Let him there. Let him be there. Let him this and that. He's not wise enough. He's not sensible enough. And that is why the man is still where he is. And I have said it, it is not even by money. We thank God for, uh, we appreciate those who are contributing money for him to be released. But it goes beyond that. We, I'm, I'm telling you that if we come out as the people, if we are really united, if we really know what we want, if we think that and we know that we are, you know, pursuing the same goal, when people come in their millions, come out in their millions, it's not even by money. The needful will be done. That is what I believe. The needful will be done. But in as much everybody is scattered, nobody is ready to, to support anybody. We will not still get the desired result. If people in their millions come out and not that maybe after one or two days, everybody will just, you know, start uh, leaving and all of that. If we are determined, at the end of the day, we will still achieve what we really need to achieve. But when everybody is trying to say, ah, me no wonder you, what's to consign me? I beg, I beg, I beg. May I face my life. Any way come out at the end of the day, I will take it. 
than me to for me to just lose my life. So that is what has been discouraging our progress in this country because we as a people, as the masses, we are stronger. We are so powerful, but we don't know it. But the few ones they've known, they've been able to categorize on our weaknesses and our and our mindset. You know that is how they are. That's why they are dealing with us at this stage in time. So when he was talking in that video. Don't just take it for, for granted. They know what they, they do. If you think, just, you know, imagine what happened in Oshun State. In Oshun State, nobody even believed that, you know, Adeke could, Adeke could even get a, such a, a, a numbers of votes. But at the end of the day, when the whole thing started changing, that this guy was winning, do you, you could see the abracadabra that happened. And the rest is history as we speak now. The APC is still there. So everybody was like, how can... A state like that that you know they have been going through a lot of things and at the end of the day they still come out and still voted for 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 the same party they've been complaining about and people were like oh we didn't vote for them this and that of course you might not vote for them but there there were a, 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 a few people that still came out and vote and those were the things that they capitalized on and to be able to do other things to be able to had jara to be able to had salt and whatever to 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 spice it to get what they really got at the end of the day so nothing goes for nothing. Nothing goes for nothing. That is just what I believe. So for him to be speaking in this, uh, uh, in this manner, then you should know the strategy is putting, putting, you know, is gathering together. Forget all these things people are talking about. Even the ones that are saying, no, Tinubu can never be this. Tinubu can never be this. At the end of the day, a lot of them might change their mind. And you be surprised at what happened. What happened? The more you see, you know, how do they even say it? Mm. The more you look, the less you see, that is the situation we find ourselves in this country. Things that you think that, oh, no, this thing cannot happen. The same people that you are talking with, you are, you know, you are, you have the same uh, mindset, the same ideology, you believe in the same thing. At the end of the day, they will turn against you. They, you will see a lot of them. We know a lot of them. And that's why you don't even blame people when they say, okay, let's gather together this and that, because a lot of people will still come there. But at the back, they do something different. But when everybody's there, they will say, oh, yes, 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 we will do this, we will do that. So, guys, that's my own take concerning this uh, Tinubu's video. So, don't underestimate any, anybody or the, mostly these politicians. Just know uh, things for yourself and know what you can do for yourself. But if we really want good governance, the only thing that can really give us good governance is the, at the time when people will come together, we all come together, we will know that we need to, you know, speak one language, speak the same language, a united language at that. So, guys, leave your comments below in the comment section and let's hear your own take. Thank you very much for always being there. Bye.